is a must for the thousands who do pack the riverfront. Another tradition is claiming the best viewing spot. Local 12's Catherine Robinson shows us that from the Serpentine Wall. Hundreds of people have claimed their spots at the Serpentine Wall, finding the best view for the biggest show. Everywhere, all the way down. The crowds came dark and early. Just before 6 a.m. to stake out their viewing spots on the Serpentine Wall. Never missed one. Rick Clark has been doing this since the show started in 77. I need a little bit more room. He brings his family and meets friends that have become just as close. All just like a fireworks family, basically. We sit around, we talk, and reminisce about last year's stuff and about what's been going on in each other's families and lives. All strategizing with tarps and tape, even buckets they filled up with water from the river to mark their spots. Are you up? Yeah, now. It's an early wake up call and a bit of work, but Matthew Cabral says it's worth it every time. It's, it's breathtaking. It's just, you can't, can't stop looking away from the fireworks. It's just, once you know you have your spot and you're ready to just sit down and relax and watch the fireworks, it's, it's all in the moment. It's great. While snagging a spot on the Serpentine is a tradition in itself, families like the Bursons have created their own over the years. Lisa and Gordon mark off extra space for family and friends and even strangers, finding a new family in the crowd each year to sit with them and enjoy the view, an act of kindness that was shown to them years earlier. It is so much fun to watch even the adult faces. The kids, of course, are just, you know, they're delightful, but even the adults, you know, because they're just, they're, their chins, you know, drop down and they're just uh, like this, you know, because it is so amazing to see from this vantage point. The park will close here at 11 o'clock tonight. It will reopen. You can come back down tomorrow at noon. Reporting from the Serpentine Wall, Catherine Robinson, Local 12 News. And for those of you heading out to watch the show, there are road closures you need to know about. Local 12's Jen Dalton helps us get around.